This is always very interesting when you introduce uh, a male and a female. This is a, <clears throat> a young rough death adder I got from my friend Dr. Bob. This is different from the Bob that uh, takes care of my collection. Uh, Dr. Bob uh, is a university professor, biologist, uh, <clears throat> and this is one of his offspring that is uh, big enough, but I don't know if old enough uh, to breed. And I'm just putting her in with a long-term captive male, wild caught guy. Very nice uh, feeder. This is the guy that loves the caudal lure like she does. <clears throat> so he just got a substrate cleaning and cleaned house for perhaps a, a new lady that's uh, visiting. And hopefully they will cohabitate peacefully and not bite each other and kill each other. But, you know, these are the chances that one has to take if one wants to propagate uh, a species. Yes, a male and a female do have to come together in most of the cases, not all, most. <clears throat> if you're saying, oh gee, what, what is the most? Uh, well, try Bothrops insularis. Uh, the Bothrops that inhabits an island off of the coast of Brazil. Uh, I forget the name of the island, uh, but <clears throat> on that island is Bothrops insularis, a very, very potent, dangerous pit viper. And there's actually three sexes on the island. Uh, <clears throat> a male, a female, and an intersex which uh, is sort of hermaphroditic. Hey, you're interrupting my talk there, butto. Or butthead. Come on. Go in there and track down the girl. Don't bite her. Don't let her bite you. Ooh. Ooh. At any rate, on that island, there's a very, very captive population with, you know, no fresh blood uh, coming in from the outside. So the species made an intersex just in case uh, one or the other <clears throat> isn't really available. Oh, and there's the head of the female. She's going that way, and I know she can detect the male. No question, she's been in there for a while. <clears throat> oh, a little startled there, huh? Yeah, I know it's a scary place. You've been uh, you've been in this bin since you've been a baby. Well, now you got a big bin. There's the male uh, cruising around in the back. I'm just waiting for him to take a turn this way and go face to face with the female. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it'll go well. <coughs> going the other way so we're not going to see it uh, in the next minute or so I imagine. I'm going to pause the camera until something interesting happens. Well, okay, there's the female tongue flicking, lying in wait. The male is right here near the opening of the cage. So we'll see uh, what transpires. Knowing him, he'll uh, just try to get out. Oh, 
no, you don't want to get out there. Oop, now he's going back the other way. <clears throat> Alright, we'll see what happens. And female is on the move and he's coming back this way, actually. Come on, bud, you've gone every way every which way except this way. Rough death at her cam. <clears throat> Sorry folks, I have a cold. So you'll hear me snuffling and coughing and clearing my throat. He's coming this way and he's going right past the prize. <clears throat> hey bud. Death Adders really don't like to be bumped and abused. Yeah, that's you. But I promise you there's something more interesting in there than the camera. I promise you. <clears throat> oh, look, she's on your back. She's on your back, bud. Turn around. There's this thing on your back. Ah, it's going to catch you. Well, she found you and not the other way around, but I think we're going to go nose to nose here, hopefully, in a second. Come on, I'm not, I don't want you coming out. I don't have anything to eat. Your substrate just got clean and you got a house guest now. <clears throat> and you're oblivious. Well, at least uh, you know that he's in here. I wonder if visually they can detect uh, the pattern of their same species. Obviously, scent-wise, taste, uh, they can identify their own species. They can probably also identify whether, you know, male from female and whether the female is in reproductive status, uh, uh, among other things. <clears throat> it's not quite breeding season in probably November, December, I would imagine. So... All right, well, so far no excitement and no real acknowledgement by the male that he has company. <clears throat> so we'll, uh, 
we'll call it quits. He just interesting interested because he hasn't been out of his cage since I cleaned it last, so it's got this nice French uh, woody pattern. Hey, he's got a woody. Woo! All right, that's all for I guess the death adders. Okay, collision course. The male has taken notice that he has a guest. Well, he's apparently not interested. <clears throat> All right, well, we'll see as time progresses. You know, as I said, I'm not certain she's old enough uh, for breeding, but I'm certain one of the first things that she's going to take uh, and do here in her her new abode is take a dump. Uh, and boy, can she take a dump. And that will give the male uh, something to, uh, to sniff over or taste, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> well, she's rather forthright uh, uh, moving right in. We know who will rule this roost. Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing, little broadies? Little broadies. Oops. There we go. That's better. Well, look at the little broadbands. Hello. Look at that, huh? They're cute. They are cute. You got the little sulfur deal? Hello, how are you? Hmm? Let's see if we can uh, hook a couple out and see what uh, flavor they are. Huh? Mm, you guys are chunky. You're chunky. Oh, I would say that you're probably a boy. Yeah, I would say that you're probably a boy. Let's look under your skirt. You're not going to cooperate, are you, huh? How are you, huh? Uh, you might be a boy, too. Well, you all might be boys. Hmm. Might be three boys. Might be three boys. Hmm, very nice ones so. though. Wait till they get their adult coloration. These will be stunners. Mm, hold on. Let's look up look up their skirts. Hey guys. Anybody interested in something to eat? Huh? Are you interested in something to eat? Huh? Now come on. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit. Okay. Now what about you, wee one? Okay, we'll find something for you. You get your noggin down there. Now. 
Oh, that was very good. That was very good. Uh, Mr. Frog does it again. Hey, you buster, get back here. Just because you're not interested in eating doesn't mean that uh, everybody else isn't. Here. Yeah, I'll make it easy for you. Here you go. That's the right size. Oh, that's so nice. Good job. Good job. Here. Here's your tasty treat, too. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so good. I like it when babies eat right off the bat. Oh, that's very nice. Good job, broadbands. Now, what in the hell is your brother's problem? Huh? Oh, that's nice. Oh, hey, you almost got that sucker down. Good for you. You're a champ. You're a champ. You're a wee one, but you're a champ. What'd you do? You spat it out. Here. Hold on, folks. Here. Okay, got him restarted. Now if uh, the sibling doesn't disturb him and scare him like he did the last time, uh, we'll be okay. This, <laughs> this little champ, look at that. Down the hatch. Okay. Good job. We'll try the other guy here in a moment. Good job. Oh. And you're doing real, real well this time, too. Good for you. Now we just have one, one to work on. Oh, take out meal. Uh-oh. Come on. Sometimes these guys like a takeout meal. However, sometimes that's not a good sign. That means that they may have a... Uh, a constriction in their esophagus and they're having trouble uh, swallowing. But we'll just let him uh, uh, do his thing. Come on bud, you can do it. You can do it. Alright, we're out of tape so we'll have to adjourn. It was a big meal. Hi, Scarlet. I don't know, uh, she's skittish, and I don't know how she'll uh, react to the cam. Come on, girly. She does uh, drink out of uh, the squeeze bottle already, though. And she sees that as a big eye. Scarlet cam. See? Not a big eye. Oh, let's try eat the camera. You've been talking to that water cobra, haven't you? You've been talking to that water cobra. Here, I want to eat this camera lens. Oh, hi, Scarlet. Nice to see you too. Hi, Scarlet. Oh, cool. Look at those little black dots on her uh, glottis. Hey, you mucked up my lens there, sweetheart. Well, that was a good try. Well, that was a nice visit. Thank you. Oh, my camera's a little out of focus.